Sunday Readings, and the Holy Gospel. December 4th, 2022. Second Sunday of Advent. First reading, Isaiah 11 verses 1 to 10. And there shall come forth a rod out of the root of Jesse, and a flower shall rise up out of his root, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and of understanding the spirit of counsel, and of fortitude, the spirit of knowledge, and of godliness, and he shall be filled with the spirit. Of the fear of the Lord, he shall not judge, according to the sight of the eyes, nor reprove, according to the hearing of the ears, but he shall judge the poor with justice, and shall reprove with equity. For the meek of the earth, land he shall strike the earth, with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips. He shall slay the wicked, and justice shall be the girdle of his loins, and faith the girdle of his reins. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the lion and the sheep shall abide together, and a little child shall lead them. The calf and the bear shall feed. Their young ones shall rest together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox, and the sucking child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall thrust his hand into the den of the basilisk, they shall not hurt, nor shall they kill, in all my holy mountain, for the earth is filled with the knowledge of the Lord, as the covering waters of the sea. In that day, the root of Jesse, who standeth for an ensign of the people, him the Gentiles shall beseech, and his sepulcher shall be glorious. Second reading. Romans 15 verses 4 to 9. For what things soever were written, were written for our learning, that through patience and the comfort of the scriptures we might have hoped, now the God of patience and of comfort grant you to be of one mind, one towards another, according to Jesus Christ, that with one mind and with one mouth. You may glorify God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wherefore, receive one another, as Christ also hath received you, unto the honor of God. For I say, that Christ Jesus was minister of the circumcision, for the truth of God, to confirm the promises made unto the fathers but that the Gentiles are to glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, Therefore will I confess to thee, O Lord, among the Gentiles, and will sing to thy name. Holy Gospel, Matthew 3 verses 1 to 12 And in those days cometh John the Baptist, preaching in the desert of Judea, and saying, Do penance, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by Esaias the prophet, saying, A voice of one, crying in the desert, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, 
make straight his paths. And the same John, had his garment of camel's hair, and a leathern girdle about his loins, and his meat, was locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him, Jerusalem and all Judea, and all the country about Jordan, and were baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. And seeing many of the Pharisees, and Sadducees, coming to his baptism, he said to them, Ye brood of vipers, who hath shewed you, to flee from the wrath to come, bring forth therefore, fruit worthy of penance, and think, not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham for our father. For I tell you, that God is able of these stones, to raise up children to Abraham. For now the axe, is laid to the root of the trees. Every tree therefore, that doth not yield good fruit, shall be cut down, and cast into the fire. I indeed baptize you, in the water unto penance, but he, that shall come after me, is mightier than I, whose shoes, I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you, in the Holy Ghost and fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly cleanse his floor, and gather his wheat into the barn. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. 